So last week I stated that if by some chance hunters actually pulled off more melee damage than a Titan, that I would stream nude for seven days straight. This is how confident that I was that hunters in no way or fashion could match the melee damage of a Titan. Now I've seen some of the builds. Ninja Pups put out a video, pretty good solid video on Arc Strider and the damage that it can do. But I can tell you right now, it's got nothing on this. Fellas, we're gonna be hitting over a million damage with absolutely no modifiers. There is no brawler on this. No singe burn. This is just raw fist to face damage and it's pretty damn nasty. So first up guys, let me talk about the rabbit hole that started this entire thing. I initially wanted to see if Striker Surehand would activate with something like one two punch. Specifically the build that we did a few months ago where we took Striker Surehand and elevated the damage on that weapon by using it with no ammo. If you have not seen that video, it is linked in the description below. But for just a quick rundown, Striker Surehand with Surround It plus Surround a Spec and using it with no ammo results in it being able to take advantage of perks like Burning Fist on Worm God Caress or Syntheseps, therefore elevating its damage because the game thinks it's a melee despite being able to double dip on those perks on that sword. Now, just looking at the damage here, without a doubt, Striker Surehand with no ammo plus Surrounding and Surrounded Spec most definitely works with something like One Two Punch. And then of course, if you can Combine this with things like Striker, Sure Hand, Surrounded Spec, Knockout, One Two Punch, and Burning Fist times five, you're actually able to hit 75,000 or close to it per melee swipe with your no ammo sword. That's a pretty substantial amount of damage. Definitely nothing to bat an eye at, easily kills Greg. And even something like Striker with no ammo plus Surrounded Spec, Knockout, One Two Punch, and Biotic Enhancements on Syntheseps does nearly 40,000 damage as well. Again, a lot of this requires some setup. The main thing to point to is that One Two Punch, 100% procs with striker sure hand. Now I thought this was it. We were gonna make a video on this and be done with it. But no, I tested one more thing and it turns out that the best melee has been right under our noses this entire time. And that's shoulder charge. Now this is very easy to pull off. It does take some time to perfect, but essentially you come around the corner, you're looking at an enemy, you slide. As you're sliding, you shoot a shotgun shot off. And the moment you shoot the shotgun shot off, you press your melee. Now this results in two things. Number one, you immediately proc one, two punch. And number two, you get the shoulder charge melee off which of course is greatly buffed here by one two punch now i had tried this a while back with striker and shoulder charge striker plus one two punch plus burning fist times five gave us a total damage of 65,824. again not bad damage but the setup is difficult now for my sentinels this is also the same same damage for both of these so i overlooked it i didn't think much about it until we checked out the sunbreaker melee which elevates our shoulder charge damage substantially you see guys shoulder charge on Sunbreaker class applies melting point, but it also does double the damage or nearly double the damage here. So when we combine it with one, two punch plus burning fist times five on Greg here, we're actually hitting 122,000 damage in just one melee swoop. One shoulder charge boys is applying 120,000 damage here. And also you're applying melting point. So if you want to follow up immediately with our striker sure hand plus surrounded spec and all that good stuff, go right ahead. If you want to follow up with the prospector with melting point, go right ahead there's just so many options the point is is that this setup does take a while but the substantial amount of damage that you get from just simply shoulder charging your enemies is something that can't be overlooked. Now, for those out there that are wondering how does shoulder charge sunbreaker plus one two punch at biotic enhancements goes, this resulted in an almost 50,000 damage. Nothing crazy, but much easier to set up. Obviously though, if you have the opportunity to truly get a good setup going and you have some ads to kill, burning fists on worm god caress with this setup is the most ideal choice. Now to fully test the damage values here, I couldn't really use Greg anymore. Greg, he's great, but let's be real. He just doesn't have enough health here. So we decided to load up into one of the forges as these bosses here are much, much beefier. They got somewhere around like I would say 2 million health, which makes them a perfect testing dummy. So right here with one, two punch, burning fist times five and my shoulder charge, the two melee values that popped up whenever I made contact was 688,544 plus 121,508. That is a lot of damage, boys. And there is no buffs happening here. These aren't big yellow values. This is just raw 
raw melee damage. Now, I wanted to test this out with some buffs. I brought my clan mate Dimitri in, and we actually took one two punch again with Burning Fist times five, shoulder charge, and he actually dropped a Well of Radiance here on the boss, and he also tractor cannon the boss, but at the same time, our blueberry dropped a tether. Now, I don't really know if tether cancels out tractor cannon. I don't think it would. Regardless though, my melee damage increased to 929,534 plus 164,036, putting us well over a million damage from one melee hit. I dropped him by nearly two bars. So there you go, guys. That is one million damage from a melee hit. No modifiers. There is no brawler here. No singe burns. This is just raw melee damage and a couple buffs. And I actually think it could probably get nastier. Maybe if we already had like melting point already applied to this boss, this damage probably could go even further. But I'm pretty satisfied with a million. So guys, that is the best melee in the game and the best melee damage in the game. I know you're not all Titans. 85% of you are hunters. Listen, you got your thing, all right? You're a hobbity hunter. You do gymnastics on the weekends. That's all right. That's all you, man. But when it comes to melee damage, you can't beat us, bro. I'm just letting you know. As far as single melee damage goes, Titans are the best and will always be the best. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.